Indonesia's economy has been declared one of the so-called fragile five as it continues to struggle with growth. But the government thinks that its status as the world's most populous Muslim nation may help in its economic turnaround. Andy Soputra has more. Once the darling of emerging markets, Indonesia's economy has been under pressure. High inflation and a history of dependence on foreign capital, coupled with the rupiah being Asia's worst performing currency, has sent worrying signs. But Indonesia is also the world's most populous Muslim nation, and that could be an ingenious way to reduce its reliance on other economies. It is a very big potential, and this fund is, exists, I mean, it exists now, uh, the fund, the money is there, but uh, still unproductive. The Hajj Fund is the 5.4 billion U.S. dollars in reserves from deposits made by the millions of its citizens seeking to make the pilgrimage, or Hajj, to Saudi Arabia each year. The waiting list for the Hajj, a key aspect in the Islamic faith, is reportedly 12 years long and growing. The millions of Indonesians seeking to join the list must each pay a deposit of over $2,000. The government is now exploring opportunities to expand that fund to invest more aggressively, making it more productive. But not everyone is convinced. Hajj is my dream. I am worried if the funds are gone due to investments. And like many here, he spent his life savings to fulfill his religious duty. For millions of Indonesians, the Hajj is their lifelong dream. That's why managing this fund will be the crucial deciding factor in passing the bill. The administration of Hajj deposits has long been criticized. That's why the government is working with people like Irfan from the association to ensure that this potential fund can be realized and will be accountable. There's a very long way to go before this solution can truly help Indonesia to rely less on offshore funds. But if managed properly, the Hajj Fund that is expected to triple over the next decade could be a promising development. Andy Sputra, CCTV, Jakarta.